can see France. Shit. Oh my god, I'm so close. Oh. Welcome back to the mission to cycle through five countries in 24 hours. Would I make it? And would the route be suitable for future world record ideas? Maybe I found my answer. Last time I had issues with roadblocks and an entirely locked off bike path, leaving me stranded in the middle of nowhere. I had bugs in my tent and I took a sleeping pill to shut off the world. This may have caused me to oversleep a lot and I woke up a mumble prone, incoherent mess. It took me over an hour to get my shit together I'm finally getting ready to my breakfast. Yeah, I love to die. Freaky weird sign. A quick final selfie for the memories, some water, and I was on my bike. 9.15, so I've got five hours of cycling to do, which would be 2.15, which gives me 20 minutes of stopping to actually make the 24 hour cutoff mark. Ugh. Wake up, wake up. After some hills, I finally began to warm up. Almost in Luxembourg, I made a quick route check accompanied by some courageous whining. Thirsty, hungry, tired, want a coffee. And before I knew it, I was in Luxembourg. Hello, Luxembourg. It's a cute castle field, and then you've got this absolute unit of a bull. Jesus. And then another issue. My route just ended up taking me on this like rather busy road. I cycled a full kilometre up the verge before eventually finding a bike path and then it's going to follow it for a few kilometers. But that didn't last long before I was back on the road. We're going to have to go on a massive detour. In my stress, I'd managed to lose my sunglasses, requiring me to run back down the road, wasting even more time to find them. Finally, I could get back to some cycling. Also, she went past a cafe and he has a beer at 11 a.m. And after three hours on the road, I pulled into a garage for a much needed caffeine break. Jerry Coke. I enjoyed my first proper meal, and as I cleared away, I found some other trash on the side and I threw it all into a large empty bin. And then a woman runs out of a pharmacy and she starts shouting at me. You have to take it out, put it somewhere else. And I'm like, whatever. So I start wheeling this bin to another bin where I can empty it. She got super stressed. Ballistic. There's no reason to be so angry. Don't steal the bin, you f Take it out. It's logic. So I get in the bin. This is definitely not logical. It's much rubbish, large bin. It used to really piss people off like that and um, deliberately just annoy them much further, which I was so tempted to do. But, you know, she might just have really, really bad OCD and need major therapy or who knows. So it's kind of fine to just move on and not cause lots of trouble. Probably could have made a more interesting video by like <laughs> seeing just how far I could have pushed her, but it's not really that nice, to be honest. Really against time by this point, I just got my head down, and as I moved on, so did the clouds. A zero bar and some more sun cream. Another good hour of cycling, and I was getting deeper into Luxembourg, and I had to say, it was really nice. Getting hot. Sweaty. I drank some of this mustard when I completely ran out of water, which um, I wouldn't recommend. It's not exactly water, is it? I am so hardcore. That said, does anyone else get an intense sense of dread when a military jet flies over you? <laughs> Nothing happened, and before I knew it, I was in Luxembourg City. Google says I should be going up this thing. All right. I mean, who says no to a ride in a glass elevator? No one, that's who. In your face, hills. My route through the small city hit the main site, well, the only site, a water point, this cheeky chappy, and then it was over. I was on the final road to France. We have a little path that is going to take me all the way to France. My God, am I tired? And then I can see France. Oh my God, I'm so close. Oh. Here we go. Boom. <sighs> oh God. Right. That only took a lot longer than I wanted it to. 5.30. Shit, three hours more than it was supposed to. Sadly, 27 hours is not yet the new 24. <sighs> tried, tried and failed, which is better than not trying. So everyone's a winner here. And by everyone, I mean me. So, whew. And boy, had I learned a lot. 
I'd overcome some life-threatening situations. Well, they've only got one tent peg. <laughs> Kill me now. I drank some of this mustard. And I survived to see another day. And that meant cycling across Germany to a new border and a new five country route with all my new lessons to hand. Mm -hmm. Did I check the weather? No. Did I go shopping dressed as a wet tent? Yes. And what else happened? Well, we just have to chill out and wait till next time. Oh, and what happened to me that evening? Well, I forgot my towel and all knowledge of camera angles. I also forgot to buy myself any dinner and spent my evening recounting all of the food. In the past 40 hours, I've eaten two camemberts, six wraps, 40 fish sticks, eight cherry cereal bars, six fig cereal bars, half a kilo of chocolate, 300 grams of peanuts and a pack of also peanutty sugary things and a pack of chocolate nugget pillows. Also, a lot of oats, a large pot of skier yogurt, two peaches, a banana, a pear, an apple, and a lot of forage blackberries, which I'd completely forgotten about somehow. And mainly, I'm bored of cereal bars. And I don't really have anything for dinner. <laughs> Send help.